Welcome to Abby's Coaching House, your home of transformation. What a blessing having you here again. Always a pleasure to be here serving you and just conversing with you. I just love the moments that we share together, helping one another to transform and become the better versions of ourselves. Happy New Year. What a blessing to have an opportunity to behold a new year. We have many memories of the previous year. Some memories are not so good, some are good. Some have, have had a blast in the past year, but whatever it is, this is a new year. A new book that you've been given to write the different pages and chapters on. A new movie that you are the script writer. You and I are script writers to the movie that we've been given, it's blank. And you know, I remember the day we went to campus and these lecturers were giving us a brief of what we expect in campus. And one of the lecturers said something that has remained with me for life. He said that all of you right now, as you're seated here, have clean A's. From today, you will either maintain the A's or begin to reduce them to water them, them down into other grades. And I feel like that applies to us even as we begin the new year. That this year is clean for us, it's been given to us, that we are able to do something afresh. I feel like a new year gives us that feeling of having a new opportunity. And so today I thought, let's talk about fear. Because fear is one of the emotions that holds so many people back. If For me, it held me back for a very long time. Where I know what I, so, I should do, but then I'm afraid. I'm thinking, what will people say? Will I have a space in the society? Will I really reach the many people that I want to reach with the message of transformation? And even in other areas of our lives. You see, fear is an emotion, like any other. We have many emotions, and emotions are important in our lives. They communicate to us. Anger communicates to us that our boundaries have been violated. You know, joy communicates to us that something pleasant has happened to us. When we smile, we know that something pleasant has happened to us. And so, like any other emotion, fear communicates to us. And sometimes fear is actually helpful. It helps us to know how far we should go, not in a, you know, in a limiting way. But fear can also help us to know this is a place where I need to seek help because seeking help is also powerful. Being vulnerable is also powerful. But then fear becomes our enemy when it holds us from taking the step that we are to take into our greatness. So if that's what fear is doing for you, then it's an enemy. But then you can make fear your friend. You know, I for me to start, I had somebody say that sometimes you need to address fear. You see, what we normally do in our lives, we take fear, allow it to take the driver's seat in our, in our lives. Imagine a car, and then you're seated in this car, and it is the car of your life. And then in this car, you are actually supposed to be seated on the driver's seat, you know, doing the driving. But then you're seated in the, on the back seat. You have allowed fear to take over, to control, tell you where you can go and where you can't go. And so every time you want to go into a certain direction, fear tells you, what, will, what are they going to say? What is going to happen? And then you stop and you don't go. You hold back and you don't go. But I want to challenge you. It's time to tell fear, yes, I acknowledge you. You can't ignore it. You can't ignore your emotions. But you acknowledge them. One of the things I learned is to name my emotions. You know, sometimes you go through different emotions and you don't even know how to name them and say, this is anger, this is fear, this is joy, this is worry. It's important to learn to name our emotions. That gives us power over them. Sit down and have a meeting with your emotions. 
and it's very important to sit down question your emotions like ask fear what are you saying what are you really saying why are you saying i can't go where i want to go and so when you question fear you reach a point where you tell fear it's okay i acknowledge you you're here but move to the back seat allow me to sit on the driver's seat let's move together i know you're here and some other days you just reach a point and tell fear off go i cannot move with you anymore but until you get there make fear your friend and let fear accompany you as you go but then sit on the driver's seat so what is this that you have wanted to do is it buying a house is it building a house take the first step you see like babies if they were afraid to take the first step in walking then they would never walk imagine how many times they fall sometimes they cry but they still take another step and walk we run to them we console them we dust them off but then they never give give up walking until that day we keep clapping we you know that day we clap for them and tell them congratulations you have made it life is a risk being born is a risk whatever you do in life is a risk and so we cannot be afraid of taking risks the even the riskiest place to be is the comfort zone because it feels comfortable but nothing grows in the comfort zone so we ought to encourage ourselves to you know throw away the blankets of the comfort zone and move into the space that we feel is the space that we are called to go to if it's that house that you want to build why not call an architect tell them give me a plan for this house call a planner let them give you the material estimates for the house just have it so that your brain begins to see a picture of what you are supposed to do if it's you know a school program go to the school get a plan get a fee get everything so that it's clear to your mind that this is what i want to get into if it's that relationship why not move it to another level if it's a marriage you want to take it to another level why not take the first step you know like uh the story in the bible of peter who jesus calls into the water sometimes we focus a lot on how peter lo- lost his focus on jesus and started sinking but then i love the fact that this guy tried so we ought to challenge ourselves to try the moment you take that first step chances are you will not go back The moment you lay that foundation to your house chances are you will not go back. The moment you get into school and start that program that you want to start chances are you will not go back. But before you start you'll always give yourself reasons why it's impossible. You know sometimes we tell ourselves so many stories of why something is impossible. And until we reach that point where we don't tell ourselves i you know i could do this or i should do this and tell ourselves now i must do this that's the changing point that's where everything changes and so for me there are so many things i have told myself this is a must do in this new year and so i challenge you overcome the fear brush off the fear we say that fear is actually inverted faith so choose faith ali tell yourself if others have made it i can make it i have all it takes to make it we have talked about affirmations i keep affirming myself that i have all it takes to do that which i am put on earth to do because i believe we are put on earth with a purpose that whatever we do whatever we are called to do we can do as long as we have a mindset that supports us and most of the time the challenge we have are limiting beliefs a defeated mindset that keeps telling us if you know my mom my dad my brothers or everybody has not done it who am i to do it but then i challenge you ask yourself why can't i be the first to do it take off every fear take the first step 
that step that you have always been afraid of taking, take it today and you'll see a difference. I appreciate you for working with me here on YouTube. I appreciate uh, you journeying together with me, you always being here. Let's work together and make this year a better year, a, a power packed year. And if you need help, I can help you through coaching. I run a coaching program, a 10 week coaching program that tells you what you're made of. We run a personality test of who you are. You get to know what has been stopping you or driving you. Then we get into how you're coded, how have you been programmed? What has happened in your, in your life? For example, for me, I fear the topic on money. You know, I remember one time when we were doing this visualization thing and I just couldn't take it that they were mentioning a very expensive vehicle. But today, that program in me is broken. Through coaching, I was able to overcome that. And then we go forward and structure your dreams, where we turn your dreams into achievable goals. We give them a structure and help you to see how can I do this. We look at your company, who are you associating with, how are they helping you. Then we finalize on the 9th and 10th week by creating your personal success blueprint. It's such a powerful program. If you're interested, inbox me. Let's talk about it. The discovery session is free where you get to know where you are, the areas that you could be stuck in, that you need help, you need a sister's hand to hold you. I am here for that. And so I invite you, inbox me. If you're interested, you're welcome to do this. Thank you so much. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, support me so that we can reach many other people in the world with the message of transformation. Till another time, see you, thank you, and bye.